Space Homer. Is that the one where Homer becomes an astronaut? Yeah. And he has the Mr. T reference, and Buzz Aldrin's in it? Okay. Um... Um, Homer the Heretic. Uh, is that the one where Homer decides he's going to give up on religion, and he basically starts his own religion where he sits at home on Sundays, and then at the end he gets rescued when he sets the house on fire after looking at porn and smoking cigars? I'm not beating you, I swear to God. Alright, alright. Um... Lisa's substitute. That's one where Lisa gets a substitute teacher that she has a crush on. Hey, Comic Impact. Kind of gave you the, the, the story in the, in the title. I'm Ian, this is Ken. I Ian. watch a lot of Simpsons. Prob probably too much. Probably. We'll go on a limb and say probably. It's been on since 1989. It's a long time. It's as long as my sister has been alive. Wow. I wonder if they ever cancel The Simpsons, if my sister will just, or everyone born in 1989 will just, I don't die. know. Let's hope not. I like my sister. And she's a good kid. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. I'm Ian, as always, this is Ken. Hey. We're bringing you Comics on Film once again. The show from ComicImpact.com that has never missed a week. Nope. Nope. We are steadfast. Fuck yeah. Screw that geyser in Yellowstone, yeah. we're old fucking faithful. Hell yeah. Yeah. We're willing to give up our Saturday afternoons for you guys every week, because that's when we record this, Saturday afternoon. 30 minutes out of our Saturday afternoon. Gone. Yeah. For you. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Maybe send us a thank you card. Or flowers. Because we tell you here all the news that happened in the world of comic book movies and TV shows. That you could easily look up on your own, but... We're willing to talk about it. Yeah. We're assuming you're too lazy for that. Yeah. And so we're bringing you the highlights. We condense so everything into a nice 15 minutes. Actually, it's usually about 30 minutes, and Simon cuts it down to 15. Thanks, Simon. Props to Simon. Yay. He deserves a thank you card. So it was a really slim week. Not a lot of comic book movie news. We actually yeah. had to really go deep to find yeah. out this stuff. Um, probably the biggest story... Deadpool got an official director. Is it official? It's not a rumor. It is official at this point. You want to understand this is official. Tim Maybe. Miller will be directing it. Uh, he's known for directing... No. Nothing. Nothing. He's never directed never anything directed. in his life. He's a special effects supervisor or something, right? Well, I think he worked on one of the X-Men movies, but I could be wrong. You know what? Joe Johnston started as a special effects supervisor. Hey. Look at him now. He's doing Captain America. Yeah. And he did Jurassic Park 3. And The Rocketeer. And The Rocketeer. And Jumanji. Uh, I like Jumanji. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Before, she, she was okay. She was a little kid. I mean, you can't expect much from little kid actors. Problem is, she never got better than that. that he looked like Zo Zoidberg. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see how that works out. Yeah. Um... At least it's progress. You know, yeah. They've been talking about making Deadpool for a long time, and nothing has happened. And um, Ryan Reynolds is doing Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. They signed up to do another comic book movie, and then another All Green Lantern. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anything about that. I would be happy without Ryan Reynolds. They could get someone to replace him. What was the guy's name from uh, Iron Man 2? That guy. And... Uh, I know who you're talking about, I don't know his name. Ask me something big about The Simpsons, I gotcha, but you asked me to remember somebody's name, and, uh... Hang on one second, we're taking an intermission. Intermission. And we're back. Back. Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell. He would make a decent Deadpool. I would player. love to see him as Deadpool. I think he'd do a really good job. Yeah. He's awesome. Although, he played Z Zaphod Beeble Brox in, uh... Do we need to do another intermission? No. Uh, Galaxy. Hitchhike this guy to the galaxy. That's right. Uh, he was good. That was kind of a Deadpool-esque character. The thing is, I don't know if Ryan Reynolds would let the part go, because I think he's already attached as a producer to it. We'll see. I yeah. want to see a good Deadpool movie. Yeah. I've also been hearing that they want to make it a hard R. I've been hearing that too, which would mean a very small budget probably, but 
I will take a better story over, you know, great effects. So anyway, there's another Captain America movie in the works. We all know about Joe Johnston's Captain America yeah, movie coming yeah. out this summer. There is another one. Yeah. This one will be in my personal collection. Captain America, a porn parody. Hell yeah. We can add this to the list of uh, Batman, Superman, Justice League, Spider-Man. Hulk? Is... They're doing a Hulk They're one. They're doing a too. Hulk one. Oh, God. That could get... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the pants are going to be ripped off when he changes in that one. I was just more worried about anger sex. Mm. I, mm. But anyway, keep your eyes out. Uh, keep your pants on. At least Unless you're alone. Yeah. yeah. If you're home, we don't judge. Eyes I, out, cocks out, balls out. Yeah. Oh, ah! Balls out. I yeah. get it. Yeah. What else? So, uh, over to DC. The Dark Knight oh, Rises yeah. got yet another cast member this week. This is, um, I think they have at this point 95% of every actor working in Hollywood working on The Dark Knight Rises. Except this, for Tom Cruise. I said 95%. He's busy. There's still room. No, there's no room for Tom Cruise. He's going to play... And no room for Kirsten Dunst. Tom Cruise is going to play Harley Quinn, <laughs> and Kirsten Dunst is going to play, play Killer Croc. You know what? She and they won't have to, off. They won't have to put any makeup on because she's no. got the. You know what? They'll they'll use CG and make her green. That's it. She's gonna make her green. I am Kirsten Dunst. No, Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> Don't hurt me with your horrible acting. I can't <laughs> take it. No. She looks like a horse. Yeah, she's bad teeth. She's just awful. She's really horrible. Like, I could forgive the fact that she's not very attractive. But if she could, like, compensate with good acting. Okay. But the fact that she's bad at acting just makes her uglier. Fuck you, Kirsten Dunst. You're not Mary Jane. How yeah. dare you? How, how dare you sully Mary Jane? Yeah. You and Sam Raimi. Fuck off. Yeah. You guys ruined Mary Jane. Thanks yeah. a lot. Anyway. I'm sure she's has... super pissed while she's sitting in her mansion right now. Anyway, Josh Pence, a uh, gentleman I'm not familiar with, has Maybe been cast know. as a young Ra's al Ghul. Even Rich. though I'm sure in the movie they're going to call him Raz al Ghul. Raz. Raz. Raz Mataz. I hope Christopher <laughs> Nolan or someone involved with that movie is watching. The character was created by Denny O'Neill in the 70s. The creator of the character calls the character Ra's Al Ghul, not Raz Al Ghul. Raj. Raj. They don't call him Raj, they call him Raz. Raz Al Ghul. <laughs> Raish. Raish. Anyway, this gentleman, Josh Pence, will be playing uh, Raish Al Ghul. And they're doing flashbacks, right? The sor uh, what I read, sources say sources. that uh, he will be playing Raish Al Ghul uh, 30 years prior to The Dark Knight Rises, so flashbacks, apparently. Okay. I want to see Liam Neeson come back. Yeah, Liam, Liam Neeson, Neeson awesome. Lazarus Pitt, Raish. Those are the three things I want. Raish Al Ghul is a badass, and Liam Neeson is as well. I'd like some popcorn. With the nacho cheese. I love popcorn. I love popcorn. I'm not supposed to eat it. Why? Because that'll get fat. It's true. I'm already fat. Uh, finally, <laughs> we've made a point of not talking about this yeah. on the comics. On Anytime the we see anything involving Ant-Man, it's like bullshit. The uh, Edgar Wright Ant-Man. Edgar Wright has... Uh, I will uh, preface this by saying I'm a huge Edgar Wright fan. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead. Hot, Hot Fuzz. Fuzz. Spaced. I, oh, Spaced, yeah. Um, I'll even go as far as to say Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Never saw it. Love them. I love all of them. Mm -hmm. A big hearty fuck you to Edgar Wright, that said. Harsh. Because he has had Ant-Man in development for... Five years? Six At years? Least a long fucking time. And every every few weeks we get a little 
something. Edgar Wright has turned in a new draft for uh, for Ant Man. Oh, well, Edgar, Edgar Wright, Wright had lunch with Stan Lee. Edgar they were Wright, talking about Ant Man. Edgar Wright rewriting Ant Man. Uh, so anyway, this week, Edgar Wright and Joe Cornish have turned in the second draft, apparently, of Ant-Man. Which I'm surprised it's only the second. Wouldn't they be on like, their sixth draft at maybe, this point? Maybe they're using scientific notation. Okay. Uh, or exponents. Maybe it's like two... Maybe it's like squared. Like they didn't even want to say what the real yeah, number is. They're yeah. just saying squared. Whatever. Um, uh, I would love to see this movie happen. But it's not. No. No. Edgar, I mean, I would love to see Simon <coughs> Pegg play Eric O'Grady, that would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be good. I would love to see the irredeemable Ant-Man in a movie. You're not gonna. I know. That's the reason why we're not getting Ant-Man, and probably not the Wasp, in the Avengers. Yeah. Two of the founding members, pretty much they, they were the Avengers back in the day. They were the ones who put the team together. Yeah. And we're not even gonna see them in the movie. So anyway, Edgar Wright and Joe Cornish this week turned in the second draft of... Edgar Wright and Ed... What the hell was that? Do you have a little horn in your throat? Oh, it's so funny, because it's not gonna happen. That's all we got. Yeah. It was a light week. Yeah. But hey, we still put forth the effort for you. What more do you want? Yeah. Can get naked, that's what they want. I really doubt they want that. Unless, you know, these are like people who have just swallowed way too many pills and need to throw up right now. They could be bears. Then they would... Like the gay community. Oh! Oh. You're a total bear. You are... Don't you have to be gay to be a bear? I don't... Just like... You fall... Like, without... The actual mm -hmm. gayness, mm -hmm. you would fall into the category ah. of bear. Ah. Were you gay? Okay. Just saying. Alright, that's all we got this week. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Maybe next week there will be some real news. Hopefully. Like Edgar Wright's Ant-Man movie. <laughs> I'm not buying it. It's like all the DC movies. <laughs> 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 Like the, it's like the Flash movie. We're never gonna fucking no, see it. No, no, no. Bye, everybody. So long. Have a good day.